Hello guys, in this video we will see how to change the owner of SQL Server database by using three methods. One, by using SQL Server Management Studio that is GraphQL User Interface. Second, by using Alter Authorization command. And last one, using System Studio Processor. First, by using SQL Server Management Studio. Right click on Database to change the owner name. Then select the Properties. Then go to Files. See here, owner is Auto Schools Administrator. Now change this owner to other user. Click on this browse button. Then search for the logins. Now I am changing owner to SA. Then check the names. Then click on OK. Then click on OK. See, owner name got changed. Let's verify. Then again go to database. Properties, Files, see, owner name has been changed. Also, we can verify the database owner name by using select as user underscore s name owner sid from sys databases where name equals to your database name. Then execute this button. See, owner name is sa. Now next method is by using alter authorization statement. Open query window. Then use the command alter alter authorization on database provide the database name to R2 schools is the domain name. Then provide the login name. We must have to give the this square brackets select the query and before that verify current one of the database see current is sa okay now select the query and execute it database owner name has been successfully changed select the database and refresh now go to properties and verify see database owner name has been successfully changed and third method is by using system stored processor. To change one of the database, first we have to use the database name to which we need to change the one of the database. Go, then execute sp underscore change db owner and provide the name. Select SQL statements and click on execute. We have successfully changed it. Let's verify. See, one of the database name is SA. Also verify by refreshing databases. Then go to properties, files. See here, database name has been successfully changed. So in this video, we have seen how to change the one of SQL Server database. For more SQL Server videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.